Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to create walls and floors using Bricks CAD BIM. I'm going to begin by accessing the Quick Draw command. If you don't have Bricks CAD BIM, you can still use the Quick Draw command with Bricks CAD Shape, our free product. Now, accessing the Poly Solid command and hitting Ctrl to change the alignment, I'm going to draw an extension. I'm going to use the dynamic dimension boxes to change the wall thickness to match. Now, accessing connector nearest, I'm going to tidy up the junction. And extrude the boundary to create a floor. It looks good, but now we need to assign the correct BIM information. BIM wall. and BIM slab. Using the Properties panel, I'm going to assign the correct building and floor information. This means that when I access Quick Draw and hit the plus sign to duplicate the layout, the newly created items follow along. Using Quick Draw and the Dynamic Dimensions boxes, I'm going to complete the layout of the first floor. Notice that Quick Draw automatically aligns itself to existing walls. I'm now going to access Multi Slice to create a balcony. and extrude along. Now with a poly solid I'm going to hit shift to align to this face and draw a height of 1.3 and now extrude. Duplicate the layout again using Quick Draw and remove the balcony. Extrude down and extrude out. And delete this wall. Access Quick Draw. Draw a small room here. Use BIM drag to move the wall and its connected walls along, in line with the newly created wall. Now use Quick Draw to complete the layout of the top floor. Notice that Quick Draw automatically finishes the connections. I'm going to repeat the steps from earlier, create a small balcony. Notice that when I hit control, it changes the extrusion method. As a final touch, I'm going to add a garage. Change the UCF to align with the back wall. Quick Draw will now follow this new user coordinate system. Duplicate this layout to a flat roof 
Notice that the layout from the other building is not copied. If you look in the structure browser, you'll see that they are two separate entities. The structure browser makes it easy to divide the building by floor. Thank you for watching.